Good morning, everybody. We are um, picking it back up in Revelation. We are in chapter 11. We're starting today. So, Lord, we ask for wisdom and understanding as we go to your word. Please open eyes and open ears this day. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. All right. So, chapter 11, and it's John talking. And there was given me a reed like unto a rod. And the angel stood, saying, Rise and measure the temple of God and the altar and them that worship therein. But the court, which is without the temple, leave out and measure it not, for it is given unto the Gentiles, and the holy city shall they tread under foot forty and two months, which is three and a half years. And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and three score days clothed in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the God of the earth. And if any man will hurt them, fire proceedeth out of their mouth and devoureth their enemies. And if any man will hurt them, he must in this manner be killed. They are protected. These have power to shed heaven, that it rain not in the days of their prophecy, and have power over waters to turn them to blood and to smite the earth with all plagues as often as they will. And it doesn't go into who these two witnesses are, um, but he does give them full power. Verse 7, And when they shall have finished their testimony, the beast that ascendeth out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them, and he shall overcome them and kill them. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spirit, spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. He's going to get them, get them <laughs> um, recompense for that. And they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and shall send gifts to one another because these two prophets tormented them that dwelt on the earth. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from God entered into them, and they stood on their feet, upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. And the same hour was there a great earthquake, and the tenth part of the city fell, and in the earthquake were slain of men seven thousand, and the remnant were affrighted and gave glory to the God of heaven, because they knew what what's coming to pass, because they had studied and read. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. And the seventh angel sounded, and there were great voices in heaven saying, the kingdom of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. And the four and 20 elders, which sat before God on their seats, fell upon their faces and worshiped God, saying, we give thee thanks, O Lord, God Almighty, which art and wast and art to come, because thou hast taken to thee thy great power and hast reigned, and the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, in the time of the dead that they should be judged, and that thou should give us reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name. So it's, it's payday. It's not all bad. Everybody gets, gets what they have coming to them, good and bad that fear thy name small and great and should destroy them which destroy the earth. And the temple of God was opened in heaven and there was seen in his temple 
the ark of his testament. And there were lightnings and voices and thunderings in an earthquake and great hail. I'm going to leave it there. That's chapter 11. Um, I am going on a little trip, so I will not be broadcasting till Tuesday. So I hope you guys have a lovely weekend. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and we will pick it back up then. Um, love and blessings to you. Bye.